What's up guys, Joe Kong 94 today and today as you can tell from the title, we're going to be doing Blue Apron. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so this is how it came. Um, it literally came with the cards, just like HelloFresh. I'll give you guys like a flipped around view of all this after. Um, so that, that part's cool. But this is what I don't like. So here's a pepper. Here's a cucumber. Here is... The chicken, here's the prawns, or the shrimps, right? Here's a tater. Here's another pepper. That's a poblano pepper. I think it's a sweet tater. Another tater. Spinach, okay. Uh, blue apron, Mexican shrimp bake. So this stuff is together, right? Brussels sprouts. Okay, what do those go to? You know what I'm saying? So this here is, um, let's see what this is. This is the Medela pasta with yellow tomato sauce, which I think is what I'm going to make first. <clears throat> Shawarma chicken and creamy teen sauce. Right. You got your tin of tomatoes, yellow peeled tomatoes. Huh. Yellow. Interesting. And a thing of garlic. And that's it. And so I guess my complaint is. And it's not really that big of a deal now that I look at it. But like with HelloFresh, which if you want to see that video, click up here. Because this is a comparison. This, 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 and this. If that were together, it would be all in one bag. So you just take that out. That's everything you need. You don't have to like look at the ingredients. Which is not the end of the world. It only takes a second to do. But it's still, eh, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass if I'm being honest. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's flip you guys around and let's get like see what you guys got. Alright, so here is this stuff. I'm really just going to go through this quick because I'll show you guys more details. When I actually get the stuff, like actually make it, you know, you got your shrimp, and you got your shawarma. I am sorry, but I'm not going to record me making any of these. I'm just going to give you guys an overall, I'm just going to give you guys an overall thought at the end of each meal, how hard it was, etc. One, it's just going to be too long of a video. It's going to take too long to render and process and all that. I have to buy a new computer, but I got a lot of stuff I got to buy first. Um, and two, it, it's just, you don't need to see me cook the stuff. All you need to see is me eat it, right? Also, I still don't have a proper ring light, so the lighting would be bad. So I feel like for the quality of the video, also another thing, in all honestly, if I'm watching reviews, I'm not going to watch a 40 minute video about HelloFresh. I'm sorry. I'm not going to watch that. I'm going to skip it. My last video is probably doing like shit, like all my videos, but that one's really probably doing like shit because I'm not watching a 40 minute video or 30 minute about something like that. So I'm gonna make it as, as detailed as possible but as short as possible. I'm even for 10 to 15 minutes around that range. So yeah, that's uh, I'm gonna cook one of these up and I'll give you my thoughts. All right guys, so we decided to make the pasta first. Um, this one just tells you the ingredients and gives you a picture. And the back it gives you the steps. So comparing this to HelloFresh, HelloFresh says break out a large pot. Um, this, that, whatever, and it tells you. And this does not, you actually have to read the whole recipe, which, again, isn't a huge deal, but all my kitchen shit is downstairs, so if I know I need this, this, and this, I can bring it up. But, yeah, just read this yourself, pause it, I'm gonna start cooking it. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like done and all in the bowl. It looks pretty fucking good. All right, guys, so I had a little, little Parmesan cheese. 
do a little bit more red pepper flakes. I hardly put any in because Uma doesn't like spicy. So I only put a tiny bit in. Get some spinach, get an onion, get a piece of the pepper. It's pretty goddamn good. Um, easiness, I give it it's an eight. It's not too hard. It may be a nine. It's pretty damn easy. Flavor, it would have been better if we had sausage to put in it. It does say you can do that, but it didn't come with it. Um, some spicy sausage in it, would, or even sweet, but spicy would be the best. We're bumping up to a 10. I would say right now it's a nine. Uma's going to try it off camera and give us her opinion. Remember, just tell us one through ten flavor taste or whatever and then well it doesn't matter how easy it, i made it, it doesn't matter what do you think Uma? Uh huh. Looks good. One through ten. No, maybe an eight. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think it'd be better if we put sausage in it. Mhm. Mm yeah. So, cool thing about this though is that obviously you can keep the recipe card. You can go buy this shit and make this again and add sausage or add mushrooms or whatever you can kind of play with it but um do you think this dish or the other dish the pasta dish from uh, hello fresh was better the other one i like the other one better too i don't know that it's the fact that it's hello fresh versus blue apron i just think the other recipe tasted better if they made the same thing with their ingredients and you know, little tweaks it might be better but who knows but yeah guys <clears throat> excuse me was a little yeah, it had more flavor. This one's not that great. But it might, you can add a little salt and pepper on it. I didn't put too much. I know you whine about it usually. So, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat> All right, guys. So here's what the chicken looks like. Uma made this one. Um, I don't feel like doing it. I was tired. So she made it. Sorry about that. You guys didn't get to see it, but I'll record the next one. All right, guys. So let's give this a try. Got the chicken. Hmm. It's pretty damn good. Sweet tater. <clears throat> what do you think, Oma? Pretty good. One through ten. Seven. Seven? Um, 
I give it a solid eight. It's pretty good. Um, I'll show you guys this in a second. Yeah, that's pretty good. The chicken's moist. The seasoning on it's pretty good. You can need a little bump of salt. Um, the sauce is good. I can't put my finger on what it is. It's kind of like a tahini. Well, I got the chicken. I don't really know what the sauce is, um, but it's pretty dank. Now with the Brussels sprout, sweet taters. On a scale of one to ten, Oma, <clears throat> how easy was it to make? I'd say it was about a nine. Yeah, so easy, not hard at all. Um. Nine being, you mean it was really easy, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, guys. That's basically it for this recipe. Um, I'll flip you guys around and show this card. Sorry for the lighting. Listen, <clears throat> I'm not going to fuck around the ring light right now. I just want to eat and relax. So, yeah, let me, um, let me show you the, the thing. Okay. All right, guys, so here is the recipe. Look pretty close. The sauce is a different color. Ours is a lot darker for whatever reason, but whatever. Yep, there's your instructions, guys. So uh, you can pause it and read that. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. All right, guys, so here's a close-up of the last and final meal the shrimp make. Shrimp bake. Here's the instruction if you guys want to read these over. You can pause it and do that. How's it look? Pretty damn close. I just didn't mix mine in. I left the steak on, or shrimps on top of it. But yeah, let's give it a try. All right, so shrimp bake. Got a little bit of a piece of the shrimp. Some of the cucumber, some of the rice, some of the sauce. Mm. By the way, if you guys are wondering what this is, I went to a metal show, Gideon, Wage War, Wash You Sleep. Awesome show, by the way. I got hit in the mosh pit. So that's what that's what that is. But I ain't no bitch and didn't hurt at all. Just blood. But yeah, they're pretty damn good. The shrimp quality is good. The seasoning on them is good. Baby. The veggies are good. Rice is good. Out of the three we've tried from Blue Apron, I think this is my favorite. This is a nine out of 10. It's really good. Uma, what do you think? Um, One through ten. Be honest, if it's nasty and you don't like it, just say it. If not, me, it's Hello Fresh or I mean Blue Apron. I think it's about an eight. An eight? Okay. Yeah. Uh, as far as how easy this was to make, this is the most complicated. This is like a four, though. It wasn't too bad. It's just a lot of steps. I made a mess. But. All right, guys, so that's it. I'll uh, get my closing thoughts downstairs after I'm done eating like I did last time, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so my final thoughts on Blue Apron. Um, if you guys are looking for a conspar comparison, I'll do that very briefly at the end, and I might even do like a separate video on it, but let's get into the basically the breakdown of my final thoughts of Blue Apron. So, quality, it's pretty good quality. You know, I had um, 
the poblano pepper we got these earlier in the week like thursday or something like that i believe yeah we got them on thursday today's sunday or saturday i mean um and by then the cucumber had a little bit of a soft spot and the poblano pepper had a little bit of rotten bit i just cut that part out and threw it all out um so quality of the ingredients they're pretty good like the shrimp was high quality the chicken was good the potatoes um the bell pepper the onion the garlic all that stuff was fine i just had a problem with the zucchini and the poblano pepper that also could have been because it sat in the fridge for a few days so i can't really ding them that much points on that i'm not really gonna give a rating by the way for this kind of stuff it's not that type of thing um but yeah the freshness is pretty good again comparison comparison to hello fresh i'll break down at the end um but yeah the freshness is pretty good the price i don't remember the exact price i put it on the screen if i remember to um but it was relatively simple or similar i mean to hello fresh it wasn't too much more um and my dad's girlfriend deb shout out deb sent me a didn't get free two free meals so we got this for pretty cheap me and my grandma Uma, the goat um so yeah but price it's not too bad it breaks down to like whatever amount of the it was a meal it, it's relatively cheap money wise i think it's worth it whether you went with hello fresh or blue apron um but yeah uh ease of cooking the instructions are pretty confusing for blue apron to be honest with you again comparison at the end um you know they don't really tell you what you need you kind of have to read the recipe which isn't a big deal this means you have to kind of pre-read the whole recipe which for me being ADD, adhd like a motherfucker and wanting to do things as quick as possible and not dick around is a bit annoying but at the end of the day it's also not that he would do a deal having to read through the recipe quickly before you start they know you need a bowl and this and that um <clears throat> they break the um you know they break the ingredients down pretty easily um one thing is that basically if it has like if all three of your meals have cucumber garlic or whatever it's not a couple cloves of garlic in with each recipe you just get a head of garlic uh, or you just get a cucumber or you just get an onion you can use the other half in another recipe type thing so that's not that big of a deal again comparison at the end but it um it's a little more work to say oh, okay like for example when i was making i took out the potato because there was another potato in there and I think my grandma was supposed to use it in the last recipe, and she didn't, which is fine. So I have an extra sweet potato now. But I thought that was part of this recipe. Um, as far as, like, so the recipes itself aren't that hard either, because that was kind of more of, like, a breakdown of, like, getting the stuff prepared. The hardest part people would have, basically, is cutting things. Again, I know I preached about this in my HelloFresh video, but knife skills are important. If you guys want me to do a video on knife skills, I can do a pretty decent POV with the GoPro or figure it out where I can show you guys how to rock chop, you know, slice things, that kind of stuff. Uh, or just go, you're on YouTube. There's billions of videos that are better than mine that I would make that show you guys how to cut things properly. Um, but proper knife skills make your life easier. But even at that, someone with moderate knife skills, it's going to take 20 minutes with a paring knife to cut an onion. You know you'll still be able to do it it's not too hard and they make things so you can put an onion and pull a string and it, it cuts it all up diced for you because you don't really even do anything uh there's mandolins there's lots of ways to cut things if you don't want to do it but yeah you know overall tonight's meal was the uh, shrimp bake which you guys saw earlier my little montage of it the sped up version of it and me trying it it was damn good like it was probably my favorite meal from um blue apron that i've gotten so far i think what we're gonna end up doing by the way is basically if we want HelloFresh one week, we'll get HelloFresh. If we want Blue Apron the next week, we'll get Blue Apron. We'll kind of switch between the two um, because no one says you can't do that, which is cool. It's really cool that you can do that with these um, companies. That you can pause a week or two so you don't because you don't want their recipes or whatever, and you don't get charged. Um, as far as you know, taste is kind of hard to determine because you know it might not be the ingredients. It might not be the thing. Like you might get a recipe that you didn't care for. Fortunately, everything that we tried from uh, Blue Apron was good. Like, I enjoyed the shawarma chicken, that, like, peanut, uh, whatever it was, uh, tamarind, tamari sauce, whatever the fuck it was, tahine, tahine sauce was pretty good. Chicken um, was a slight bit dry, but we just overcooked it. Um, so that's not really a dig on that. You know, well, you guys already saw what I talked about, how each meal was. Um, overall, it's pretty good. Um, you know... There's some criticisms I have about Blue Apron that I think they can do to improve a little bit. And um, here's, we're going to get into a real 
brief comparison of HelloFresh and Blue Apron. And again, if you guys want a full video on that, um, drop some likes or some comments asking for it, and I'll do a comparison on the two. Um, so we'll go over price first, and I'm basically going to say who wins. Price, I would say Blue Apron's a little cheaper, but you get what you pay for, and I'll explain that in a second. Ingredients, quality, freshness, etc. Um, organization, I think HelloFresh is better. I think they had higher quality vegetables. The onion was a little bit better. You know, the everything about it, I think, just is better as far as preparedness. For example, um, HelloFresh came in a little bag, and that bag had everything you need for that recipe, besides salt, pepper, sugar, things like that. But you guys already know. That you have to have salt, pepper, sugar, oil, shit like that in the house anyways. They're not going to give you that. I'm going to pause this just to make it easier just in case the clip fucks up. So, back to what I was saying, you know. I think HelloFresh is a little more organized. So, if Blue Apron were to do a thing where, you know, they put each individual recipe that you're making in a bag. Which they do do. Like, for example, the rice, the mayonnaise, the sour cream, the um, poblano sauce. All that stuff was in... A little bag i guess it's just a produce which again it's not a huge deal and i'm not gonna sit here and tell you don't ever try blue apron because they don't put the vegetables for the recipe in individual individual bags because both services are very good and i honestly would highly recommend both of them so if you guys just want to hear that yes i would recommend hello fresh and yes i would definitely recommend blue apron they're both awesome services and i really enjoyed um making the meals you know eating the different foods because i'm the type of person where i get very bored easily with food especially whereas you know my grandmother well my lover but she gets mad at me sometimes because she'll make pork chops and i'm like i don't want pork chops tonight like i'm sorry i just i don't eat things if i don't want it and i don't like it i've always been like that it's nothing to do with me being stuck up i just always been like that i just i can't eat just because there's food there and even as big as i am you know if i don't enjoy it or i don't like it i'm not gonna eat it and i'm sorry and having said that, everything I've had so far from Blue Apron and HelloFresh has been pretty good. So again, ease of um, you know preparedness, the recipes, as far as who was easier, I'll get that in a second actually. Ease of preparing, organization, overall easiness, including the recipe. Because another thing that I got to touch on is that um, Blue Apron just says, you know, here's your ingredients, read the recipe. Whereas HelloFresh says, these are the ingredients that are included that you need. And you're going to additionally need salt, pepper, garlic powder, whatever, oil, you know. And then it will say, break out a baking sheet, break out a large pan, get out a strainer, get out a measuring cup, you know, half cup measuring cup, and things like that. And that, um, you know, it's not a huge deal. It's just something that makes it a little bit easier to visually be able to see real quick. Oh, okay, I'm going downstairs. There's all my cooking stuff behind you guys in a little pantry. All my like knives, my cutting boards, my pots and pans, which I like to use my own stuff because I think it's better anyways and I like a big cutting board, but that's a whole new kitchen essential video I can do if you guys want me to do that too, let me know. Um, but yeah, basically <clears throat> that little bit just makes it that much easier to go downstairs and say, okay, I need this, this, and this to bring up with me. I don't have to do four trips because I forgot something that I didn't see early in the recipe, which it still happens with Blue Ape or with HelloFresh, I'm sure, but you know, it just makes it a little bit easier. So as far as overall easiness, um, you know, goes in, and I'll just touch on it real quick with the recipes. It literally depends on the recipe. Blue Apron might have some extremely complicated recipes that take, you know, two hours to make, but I don't think they do that. I think it's all like short stuff, but, you know, basically they might have a recipe that might, might be a lot harder for, you know, the novice everyday cook, um, <clears throat> but so a hello fresh. So as far as which easier to cook, that goes on the recipe as far as price i'll say blue apron quality hello fresh ease of preparedness overall you know packaging etc hello fresh uh taste again that's recipe specific um i liked all the recipes from all six meals all three from hello fresh and all three from blue apron um that's basically it. I'm not going to go too far into the comparison in this video because, again, if you guys really want me to go into in-depth comparison, which will be like a longer sit-down video like this, and I'll include clips from the other two videos, uh, I will definitely do that. Like I said, give me that 10 to 15 likes on this and uh, share it with your friends, comment below and all that stuff. That all helps me know, you know, guys are liking these videos. I know some videos do better than others. I know this one might be a little long. Hopefully not. Hopefully it'll be around the 15-minute mark, and even that's long. But yeah, guys, 
um that's pretty much it for this like i said i would definitely recommend blue apron overall experience i give it a nine out of ten um you know i don't really have anything negative to say other than it's a little unorganized compared to hello fresh but you know if i had blue apron before hello fresh i wouldn't know this and again i'm not telling you guys not to get hello fresh would i recommend it yes i would or i'm sorry blue apron i would definitely recommend hello fresh and i would recommend blue apron to anyone that wants to try it it's definitely worth it um I'm going to look into it. There's like another one. Like, I don't know if there's a different recipe delivery service that we can try. Maybe I'll try that too. But yeah, again, would I recommend Blue Apron? Yes. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. Please drop some likes, some comments, some subscribes. Show some love in this video because it was a pain in the ass to make. I'm still working with a broken tripod. So if there's any quality lighting issues, I'm in cinematic mode right now. But um, yeah, that's basically it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you guys like these. Drop some likes, comments, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload videos when you subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Joey Kong 94 out.